played Stalker down with the Bastion bow. What is the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing some things. Back with some hot <gasps> windbound action. Ladies and gentlemen, wait, what? Stuff and things are different. What's going on, Slipgator? Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Stuff and things are different. And, um, yeah. So, there's a couple of things I want to go over with you guys. First of all, this is not a sponsored video. I am continuing to play this game because I freaking really like it. I think it's really good, and I want to see it to the end with you guys. So, we're definitely going to be checking it out. But there's two modes, if you remember, in the beginning. There's, like, a storyteller mode and a survival mode or something like that. And the biggest differences are is that, one, when you die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the chapter... And one, when you die, you don't. You just go back to, like, the latest save point. Or there's some auto saves and stuff that happen. And then one has increased uh, or, or decreased mob difficulty and the other doesn't. So, uh, I don't really see a point to doing the survival mode. Because when I die and have to go back to the beginning of the chapter, you don't see any of that. All that happens is that I have to take a half an hour or 45 minutes, get back to where I was, and then I start recording again. So, there's really not much of a point. You know, honestly, there really should just be the storyteller mode. Oh, whoa. I think. Dude, how many arrows do I have? Three? Fifteen? Plain stalker? Do I have any meats? Large raw meat. I don't have any cooked meat. Dude. So anyway, what I decided to do is start over in storyteller mode. We are currently on chapter two as we were in the other playthrough. But instead of being very close to the end, we're actually... We just have one of the Nautilus shells. Also, there's a map! I don't know if you knew this. If you hit M, there's a map. Uh, and you can see some stuff of things. You can see we have a fire over on there like that. Um, but yeah, so right here, what I want to do to start off with is continue our adventure, of course. But I'm going to make a new boat. So last time, I think we only had the grass boat deal. And now we're going to go ahead and upgrade this bad ombre. Do I have stuff inside of here? Yeah, I do that I can't use yet. So what I want to go ahead and do is take a look at upgrading, like I said, into a catamaran deal. We need bamboo. No, not bamboo hulls. We're trying to do the grass hull right now. So we just need two grass rope in order to make that happen. And I think I can go ahead and build that right here. Let's make a grass rope like a so. Let's make a second grass rope like a so. All right, sweet. And then now we should be able to make over inside of here. Oh, we can't. Now we need thick grass. You're kidding me, man. Do we have any thick grass stored up? Uh, and there's a couple other things that have changed because we started the new playthrough as well. Uh, one of those things is that we no longer have the Tempest bow, which I do believe is the best bow in the game. Uh, instead, now I have... What is this guy? The Bastion bow. A charge shot from this bow will create an area that will absorb any damage taken uh, by the player. Uh, when you stand in it. So it's a little area of effect, lower damage deal. I need grass. Dude, is there any grass? I see some tall grass over there. So, yeah, what we're going to do is start gathering up some stuff and things. We're going to build the catamaran deal. Uh, I think we're going to try to get a fire on the catamaran as well. So that we're able to... Dude, we're actually running really low on on food stuffs. And then, did we already get this one? Yeah, so I got this Natalie shell that's on this island right here. Uh, so we're running a little bit low on food. Is that another meat over here? Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Whoa, what? Can't grab it. Not smart enough. Uh, maybe we... Maybe we do this. Let's go ahead and drop that meat. I said drop that meat. Let's go ahead and grab the small one. Can I grab the small meat? Then we can eat the small meat. It's going to give us a little bit of stamina and then the wobblies. All right. We need more grass. And now that we have said grass, we can go ahead and build another grass hull. And that can go right over here like so. Bam catamaran, baby. Oh, yeah. Hot catamaran action. Now, check it out, guys. We have the bamboo uh, sail now and the bamboo hull deal. Uh, we use the grass sides over here like so and like so. And what we could do inside of here is go over here. No, not the repair tool. Pardon me. And go to dismantle. And I'm pretty sure we get 100% of all of our stuff back, which is pretty excellent. It's pretty exciting. I like that quite a bit. Now, the other thing that we can do over here, I do believe. Let me see if we have the resources we need to do it. We need a bamboo and a plain stalker horn in order to make the bag rack, which I don't think we have any. We don't have any bamboo. And I do believe we have one plain stalker horn inside of here. But we no bamboo and there's no none left on the island over there. So what we're going to do is for right now, we're going to make. Oh, dude. First of all, we need to make a fire. Let's go ahead and get that going. We can make it right on our raft like so. There we go. Nailed it. Used to goop. Stop. Now, if we click on this, we can with uh, two sticks and three thick grass make the drying rack. And that's going to allow us to cook up three things at once. So we can go ahead and start crafting this generously roasted meat over here. 
So we're good to go on that. How many inventory slots do I have now? Just the ones. Can I make the basket still? Uh, of course not, because I don't have enough thick grass. All right, so, chink in the armor, Ted. Here's what we're going to have to do. <gasps> Hello. Hello there, little lady, person, man. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, run! Yeah. <laughs> no! Cruel world. All right, so what we're going to have to do over here, as I said. Whoa. Okay, I guess. Oh, he's coming back. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, thank you so much. Oh, bless the universe for bringing you back to me. Amazing, we should be able to get some meat from this guy and hopefully, <gasps> nothing. Oh, this game, we got nothing. Okay, that was that was terrible. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and maybe drop our sticks, drop those guys and drop that. Now we'll pop over here like so. We'll go ahead and interact and grab all three of those. Now what I need to do is pop inside of here. This is a little bit of a thing. Dismantle this guy. And then I again. And then dismantle this guy. All right, sweet. So now we got our catamaran. We got all those things going on over there. We still can't build uh, the bag holder deal because we don't have the bamboo to do that. So I'm just going to stick one of these guys on the ship right here. And eventually we'll upgrade this stuff for sure. But we'll go ahead and stick that right over here for now. And then that'll be our basket. We can put you, you, and you back inside of there. Now we can grab all of these off of the shore. And we have some more. Oh, no, we didn't get any meat. So that guy's crafting up right there. All right, sweet. So that's kind of the update and the new ship. Pretty freaking amazing, man. I feel like what we need to do now is go ahead and sail away. Let's push her out. Out into the oceans. Uh, I can't wait to get that meat so that I can go ahead and get a little bit of healing going. Let's tighten the sail up here a little bit. Can we make it right over this way? Oh, man. She is responsive. So, eventually, I, I feel like I might go for a trimaran. I don't know. Trimarans, they're very fast. You don't see them quite a bit. You don't see them very often, but they're very fast. Oh, man. Look at this. We're sailing. We're on the amazing ocean. So this pauses your game, uh, but right over here, it looks like there's the second Nautilus shell. Oh, and to my port side, it looks like there's a little itty bitty wee island here. We can loosen this. Oh, we're heading into it. We're gonna beat into the wind. We need to keep our sails tight. So we can head over here and see what's going on and then head to that island and get another key. Uh, we can actually sail, believe it or not, while we're not doing stuff. So that's still not done there. While we're not piloting it directly. Oh, big wave. Oh, I was hoping we'd be fast enough to go ahead and jump over it. All right, let's take a look at what we got over here on this little wee island here. Okay, coming in for a landing. Well, sir. Uh, oh, all right, looks like a couple of jars. Probably some sea sharks. Oh, we got oil bomb sling ammo. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think that I'm ever going to use it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drop it. But we did learn the oil bomb sling recipe uh, and, yeah, that sort of stuff. Let's go ahead and push this guy back out to sea a little bit here. You're not really facing the correct direction there, boat. Don't lose your stamina. Go up over. Don't blow me back into shore. I hate you, game. Let's go ahead and grab that meat and eat that guy. Bam! HPs. Everything's good to go. Do you see this thing? Hold on. Let's push it this way. Why do you push the opposite way? Boat. Boat. You're not being very helpful. Little wee island. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, man. We just made it. Holy crap. This thing is really quick. So we're going to grab some more palm fronds. Actually, how many fronds do we have right now? Two, 10? I think 10 is the max. Yeah, so we're going to keep just the 10. So we'll keep one stack of the fronds. We're going to need the grass, of course. I think we're pretty close to 20 is a stack of rocks. How many rocks do we have? 18. So we can keep a stack of, like, all the things all the time. There's another rock over there. This island is barren, man. All we need to do is get the um, Nautilus shell off of here, and then we are going to peace out. Looks like, yeah, right up here, there's another island. And probably there's got to be some stuff over here in the ocean as well. So we'll have to check those guys both out. I don't know if you noticed in the map too, something else that's kind of cool. It shows you the wind direction. Pretty neat. Pretty neat little deal. Can I get up there? Ah, why do you hate me, game? All right. So up to the top of the Nautilus shell, sail away, and uh, go see what these other islands have in store for us. All right. This is going to be tricky. We're going to try to build the anchor. We're going to build an anchor while we're on the boat, while it's moving. Wow, dude. This is really interesting. This is so cool and scary. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, my God. That was so crazy. All right, so the reason we're building the anchor is because in the description here... Oh, I don't know if we can read it. But I'll show you here in a second. We'll slow down. What? No! Why do you hate me? Oh, God, we built the anchor. It's perfect. Swim, 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 swim. 
So the anchor stops the boat. If you fall off, that's exactly what it does. <laughs> I'm so glad we built it. Right here, a basic anchor that will stop your boat from drifting off automatically drops when you leave the boat. Dude, you guys, that was excellent. Because <laughs> uh, this little island right over here, I don't think has a beach. So uh, using the anchor to stop the boat is the perfect thing. But it looks like there's just like a little crappy chest over here. One of the uh, sea shard jars. Oh, there's a big old island over there, baby. And that looks like the last Nautilus shell. So what we could do is kind of go like this and then like that. And then that should stop like right there. And then we can grab these guys. Sometimes these guys have good stuff. Sometimes it's just sea shards. Yeah, just sea shards. Ooh, Sentinel Soul Gem. No, wait. Oh, I don't think I have the room for it. Uh, mum, 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 mum. Dude, I can't drop anything. Uh, One grass rope. Grab that guy. Sentinel Soul Gem. Big time. Super, super cool. It doesn't teach us anything? Wait, hold on a second. We might have already learned it. I think the Sentinel Soul Gem is what you need for the Bastion Bow. But there are some other uses. There are some other uses for stuff and things in the future. You know, while we're right here, we're going to go ahead and make some more bone arrows. All right. And then we have another inventory space now because we used all of our bones. So we can grab our grass. Feels good, team. Hit. Get back onto the ship. And now... uh. Like I said, I saw a really large island over here. Let's head this direction. All righty, coming in for a landing. Plane stalker right there, right at the start. Bam. Let's go, team. We're ready. We can do this. Surf. Why are you running away, fool? Dude, what the crap? I'm trying to kick your butt. What are you just leaving for? We're a little bit low on stamina, which means we're a little bit low on food. Uh, we got to be careful as we move around over here. There's a lot more bamboo, which is great. We can do some stuff with this. Valuable resources. I guess the plane stalker. Oh, dude, I feel like my inventory is really full, too. <gasps> Wait a second. Is it just the one bamboo we needed for that? And the plane stalker horn. Let's go back to the boat here real quick, guys. We can make a little bit of an upgrade. Let's pop over here. Let's go ahead and just drop something stupid and dumb we don't need. Uh, maybe our clay for right now. I did grab some clay, by the way, because we made the shovel as well uh so now we can pop inside of here we can grab the plane stalker horn that's gonna allow us to build this bag rack and we could pop that guy down over here all right there's our bag rack now what we can do let me see what do we need to make this guy two grass rope let's make some grass rope hopefully we have enough grass i think we do all right so now what i can do is i could pop over here well actually this might be a little bit tricky let's make this bag i think it might just pop it might just go onto the ground. All right, so that bag's going to go onto the ground. This is a little bit weird. I'll show you how this works. So you hold E to swap. Grab that guy. We'll grab this bag. Uh, we actually have to hold E on it. Now that's our empty bag. Now we can pop up over here and grab, hold E to swap. So now this is our bag we have here. And then if I click on this guy or we E that guy, we have an extra bag, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and grab our clay. I think I might go ahead and harvest some of these as well. A little bit more. I'm not sure how big a stack of clay is, but it's probably 10. All right, like so. We got six clay now. So now what we can do is pop in there, add maybe uh, the clay, maybe those rocks, give ourselves a lot more inventory space. We don't need to carry this with us at all. We can go uh, to held. Honestly, we don't really need to carry the hammer either unless we need it. You know what I mean? Unless we have something that we need to hammer. So we can drop all those guys in there. Let's go ahead and pull out these two as well. Well... You know, for right now, since we don't have another plane stalker horn, there's no really, no really, not a point to that. Oh, you know what else we could do? Dude, you guys, I completely forgot. We have five skins. Do we have the grass we need to turn this on? All right, so we can uh, relight the fire with two thick grass. And then, bam, inside of here. Now we can put our skins in. And this drying rack will make leather for us, which is, like, super important. Leather is an, an essential resource in this game. Like, super, super essential. All right, let's drop those guys in there and then maybe two held, two held. Yeah, like so. All right, sweet. So now we're making that. Let's go ahead and take a look here. What are we going to need? Oh, do we have the axe? No, just the hammer and the shovel. We're going to need to make the axe as well, but that needs a gloom harrow jaw and the leather, but we haven't found the gloom harrow yet. All right, let's eat some mushrooms. Give us some hot stamina action. There's another guy over here. We'll grab that. All right, very good. More max stamina. Now, there's another plane stalker on the island here. I want to go ahead and make sure we kick his butt. Let's make sure we have our bone arrow selected. Oh, there's a guy right there that we could get some leather from. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. You know what? How do we, What do we need to... Can we make the next level spear yet, too? 
We can make the boner spear now that we have leather as well. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Let's grab this. I wonder how close I can get. Not very close. No, don't run away, dude. I don't want to use my arrows on him. I don't want to waste them. So we got a hit on the guy. Nothing major. Oh, plate stalker down with the bastion bow. Very nice. Oh, we got leather. Dude, oh, awesome. So we got, I think, both of our arrows back. We got some skin. We got the horn. Oh, that was nice. Super, super cool. Now, the plane stalkers, where they sleep as well, I think there are bones that spawn around the bottom of that. Is that right here? Yeah, check it out, man. So now we can make the bone spear. Very cool. We'll grab some bones from that guy. There's some up top too, but I'm pretty sure there's not a way to get up there. Uh, so I'm just going to grab as many sticks as I can. Uh, we're a little bit low on tall grass as well, so I'm going to grab that. Uh, you know what? Crap. I could have got my bleak fronds. I could have got bleak fronds from those if I'd have kept my shovel on me. Damn it all to hell. And those are actually really valuable. The bleak fronds are utilized right there. You need those to make the bone arrows. So we might have to go get um, go get our shovel and then come back through. Uh, these guys are a thing. Blood bristle? But I'm not sure exactly what they're used for. We can grab some of those too. Yeah, damn it all the heck. I'm going to have to go get my shovel and come back. Now that I have a little bit more storage, I am going to grab some blood bristle. Just so we have some. Uh, it looks like all we got to do now is go ahead and get the shovel and then come back through and uh, get the Nautilus shell, which is the last Nautilus shell. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, oh, oh dude. Oh, man, so close. No, 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 no. I got this. You and me. Oh, there's no way, man. They're so hard to hit when they're on the run. Ah, oh, swinging a miss. All right, possibly some jars. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. A couple of jars over here. Feels good. What do you got for me, jars? Sea shards? More sea shards. There's a bunch. More sea shards. Dude, I got 900. 1,000. Bam! Dude, all the sea shards. Is there anything else around here? I might have missed one. But anyway, all right. So, last Nautilus shell for Chapter 2. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, I went back over, by the way, and made another bag storage on the ship. So, now we have 14 slots of storage on our vessel, which is amazing. Um, I had some more leather. We got that cooking up. And I got a couple of meat, too. So, we got that going as well. You know, this game, I was saying it in the last episode... This game is very easy until it's not. It's one of those kind of games where, like, everything's going fine, and then you run out of food, or you fall or something, and then it's over for you. So, uh, I think we're pretty much good to go now that we have all three Nautilus shells. I saw the uh, final island around here somewhere, but I also want to do a little bit of exploring out over in here just to see if there's anything extra. Because on those kind of little teeny islands, we can find some pretty cool stuff. Um... Uh, increased stamina, increased HPs, and those sorts of things. And I want to leave those guys behind if we can help it. I also have a couple meat back at base too, which will be great since I've just, yet again, annihilated my stamina. Whoa, what's this? What is this? Whoa, 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 boat, boat, boat! You're going too fast, boat! No, stamina! I thought if I jumped off, the boat would stop more quickly. Don't lose my stamina, please. Dude, there's something in the water back there. Did you guys see that? Like something that was glowing? It's... Oh, there it is right there. Do you see it? It's like right there. What is that? Uh, We're going to have to go really slow here. It's underwater. It's glowing. It's kind of right in front of me there. Tighten the sail up a little bit. Can we just get... I just want to go very, very slowly, if you don't mind. Okay, 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 okay. That's it, that's it, that's it. Stop, 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 stop. I can't see it. I have no idea what it is. Oh, there it is right there. What is that? You see it? It's like a little Nautilus shell or something like that. I have no idea. You can't really go underwater. If you go from a, a large height, you can dive down underwater. But if you don't go like, yeah, it's not giving me like stamina. Oh crap, we're gonna lose some stamina. Uh, I have no idea what that is. 
It's, there it is, right there. What the crap is that thing? <laughs> you guys, this thing's a little unstable. <laughs> I haven't capsized or anything yet, but uh, we start going pretty quick on this bad ombre, and uh, it starts to float around a little bit. Uh, I did go ahead and explore around. I even Googled a little to see what was up with that shell. I could not find any information. Um, I think... Well, see, there you go. Look at that, man. Right into the drink. Dude, heartbreaking. We don't even have, like, a safety harness on or anything like that. Um, so we're at the very end here. No other islands that I could see. Uh, so we're just going to pop over here and extend all of our bridges and do that. Let's bring her in for landing. No crabs! Weird crabs. All right. Like so. Now, before we go... Oh, there we go. Let's grab all three of those guys. And then I think I have leather over here now. Oh, I built another back storage, too. I don't think I showed you guys. We got that guy right there. And then um, I'm pretty sure when you finish the game... How much durability does that have? Or a spoil timer? It looks like we're pretty good. When you finish the levels, I'm almost positive that it fills up your stamina and HPs. So even though it's telling me right now we need to eat, I don't think we really need to eat. We, we may... That little bit of food may spoil by the time we get up to the... Or get to the end anyway, but we'll keep it just in case. Or I'll eat it right now. <laughs> I need the extra stamina. You guys, this game, the stamina is just like constant. You're always, always watching that stamina bar. All right, we'll pop over here. Let's get this guy. All three Nautilus shells ready to rock and roll. Don't use too much stamina slip. Dude, we need to build a base like this in a video game. This base would be amazing. All right, all the way up. Whoa, what? The second mural. Tell us more of your story. There were waves behind and in front of the boats and the Nautilus jellyfish was underneath the boats. And then, people were holding things up to the sunfish bones. And then, <laughs> the jellyfish were face hugging and they were also holding them atop the mountain of shells. Yes, okay, very interesting. Very interesting. What is that telling us? I do not know. I really do not know what it is that they're trying to tell us. But the second crossing, Fury. All right. And I think you'll see right here. It's going to zerp, zerp. All right. HPs and stamina back to full. All right. So the final or the second uh, chapter obstacle course is coming up. I'm not sure how hard these guys are going to get. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so far so good. Whoa! Is that, are you gonna hurt me? Is everything okay? I think that's the big Nautilus shell we see in the, in the murals. And obviously from the beginning of the game, you remember they're in like a battle with that thing. All right, everything seems okay. I'm a little bit concerned about how fast our ship will get. Cause it gets really, really fast. Okay, maybe we maybe we put a couple reefs in here. Maybe we slow down a little bit. Oh, 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 man, it's actually quite hard. All right, full steam ahead. Let's tighten the sails. The wind changed directions on us a little bit. These little end parts are really interesting. So far, the first and the second one haven't... I mean, they haven't really been that difficult. We don't damage the boat. It seems like we're doing okay on them, but they're not easy either. You really do! Wow! You do have to keep an eye on what's going on. Holy crap. Maybe we need some bamboo hulls or the trimaran. Maybe we'll put a bamboo hull right in the center. We can do that. 
Okay, I'm trying to keep an eye on where the rocks are because they keep disappearing under the waves. I think this is safe right over this way. Yeah, I can see. Oh, 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 uh. oh, loosen the sail. There we go. All right, I think we got this. Damn, there's a rock right there. We did it. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, glassy, calm sailing. Exactly what I like. All right, coming in for a landing like so. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab these guys or see what kind of gifts we can get. Ancestral bow, a gift from the gods. The stout bow is strung with a strand of silver moonlight. Easy to knock and ever taught. Start with ancestral bow that never breaks or Gordel's fortitude. Uh, I think this is poison damage is reduced. Yeah, I'm going for this guy. We have the Bastion bow, but I feel like this other bow would just be good. If it never breaks, that's awesome. We actually do have two of the gems we need to make the Bastion bow, too. We can make another Bastion bow. But for right now, we can do this. Oh, also, I think the Ancestral bow doesn't take up a slot in your inventory. So that's, honestly, with this game and the inventory management you have to do, pretty, pretty powerful. Bestow blessing. So it's the only one we have. Now, uh, remember, I told you guys we started over. Uh, during the first chapter, when we normally would have got a blessing, it was really odd. I didn't have enough sea shards to get one. Nope, don't jump up. Just E, buddy. Just, just, I'm just stuck. Just, seriously? I'm seriously stuck right now. I can't move. Why do you hate me, game? And we're free. Little save game and reload did it for us. No problems. Look how amazing it is. The end of chapter two and on to chapter three. The war. Where are we? Let's tighten that sail up. There's the island, the very first island right here. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of a landing. So, very, very cool. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Make sure if you like this video, please don't forget, show your support, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps with the stupid, dumb YouTube algorithm and it's free. Also, if you are really into this content and you have cut the cord, you don't have cable um, and you use this as your entertainment. You know, consider becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash slipgator. It really helps out during these trying times on the stupid, dumb YouTube. And a big shout out to all. No, not again. It did it again. A big shout out to all of our patrons, dude. Thanks for watching and may the stuff and things be with you.